So this probably looks different than what you remember. Uh, since I last recorded videos, we have bought a house. And with that house, finally, for the first time, I have a garage. Now we just moved in, so there's a whole lot I need to do. Uh, I haven't done much more than just like park everything and dump stuff in corners, but I'm really, really excited. I've wanted a garage uh, my entire adult life. Uh, I am kind of tired of working in driveways and out in the sun all the time, especially as hot as it gets here. And going into summer, I'm gonna really enjoy being able to work on the car uh, without being miserable <laughs> because of the weather. So uh, this is the garage so far. Like I said, it's really a mess because I've just brought everything in when we moved and I dumped it and I've kind of been slowly rearranging things as needed. Uh, obviously there's Roslyn, uh, there's some chairs, and there's Sully. Uh, he is new, he is the tow rig, and I'll do an introduction video on him in a bit. Uh, this is the house. It's pretty sweet. It was a regular rancher that got converted. A uh, mother-in-law suite was added onto it, and uh, it's a lot bigger than we were expecting, or a lot bigger than we were looking for in a house, but we really like it. Comes with a backyard. It's been raining for about a week straight, so I really need this grass to dry out today so I can cut it. Uh, but it's got a fenced-in backyard for the puppy. Uh, I have a trailer, we'll do an intro on that in a bit too. And it has an awesome paved driveway. So you can park a couple cars out front, a couple cars here, a couple cars in the garage, a couple cars there. If you haven't figured it out, we can hold a lot of cars. And then, like, that's our bedroom. It's got this awesome wraparound porch. This part of the porch is dry. This is spare stuff that was in the garage. I need to figure out what to do with it. There's some shelves and other things. Uh, and then there's a whole lot I want to do in here. I don't actually want it to stay looking like this forever, obviously. Uh, I'm thinking about putting a workbench right here uh, with, like, some LED lights all the way down. I might close that in later. I might not. I'm not sure. Um, this is kind of going to be the detailing car parts area, I think. Uh, I've got all my detailing equipment here. Um, I actually had a really great time a week or two ago. I brought the GTI in, which I think I still need to do a video on that too, don't I? But I brought the GTI in and I spent an entire week, just like an hour or two a day, uh, claying and waxing each panel uh, to make it spotless indoors in a controlled environment before taking it back outside. Because that's always been the problem is I've had to do everything I want to do to a car uh, in one day or less so I could get every all the tools back inside. Except for exceptions like uh, I did the spider's engine uh, in my father-in-law's garage. Um, so where we used to live, I had access to a garage, but I didn't when we moved to the town we live in now. Uh, and I, for about two years, I've had to do everything in the driveway. So that's what's up. Uh, that's the, I'll go over some of the stuff we've got here. Those are the original spider wheels. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with them other than, uh, I used to put them on during the winter and just let the spiders sit on those, but I don't really need to do that anymore because they can just stay inside with the top down. Uh, those are the seats number six and seven for the Land Cruiser. Uh, that is a woodworking table and a ladder for my grandfather. Uh, this is a light I'm using for detailing the car. I used to use it for podcasts, uh, but it works pretty well for like seeing if you've got all the wax cleaned up on the car. Uh, car cover, uh, dog cover for the seats when the dog rides with us. These are a lot of electric tools. Uh, and if you're anything like me, I used to be very, very skeptical of electric tools. Uh, well, they didn't used to be very good, so I guess that's fair. But I've used some that impressed me and there was a sale on Amazon and I decided to pick up Greenworks tools for everything for the yard. But like to be honest, this isn't an amazing chainsaw, right? But for the three trees I have in the yard, most of the stuff I'll normally do is totally fine. Uh, and it was like 40 bucks, not including a battery. And if I ever need to use a heavy duty one, I've got friends and family who have like steel farm bosses and stuff. So not a big deal. Um, there's the toolbox I've used for years. I'm going to hopefully be expanding that into something bigger. Uh, spare car stuff, jacks, ratchets, impact wrench drill, stuff like that. Uh, surprisingly good electric lawnmower. Another project that'll be coming up is, this is an air compressor for my grandfather as well. Uh, my grandfather passed last year and 
uh, recently this spring, we, all of the grandkids went and went through his garage and my grandmother wanted us all to pick out things of his that we would like to have because uh, she was looking to clean some of it out and wanted it to go to family. Um, so I chose the air compressor and the ladder and that table and a few other things we'll get to in a minute. Uh, these are chairs that actually my wife bought when she was in school uh, and reupholstered. Like this is from a super cheap Walmart set and she reupholstered them years ago uh, and they followed us around to pretty much every house. They're not awesome chairs, but we just keep them around because I mean, you have them, why get rid of them? Um, you know, obviously I need to do stuff with this. This was my wife's old desk chair. I'm probably gonna use it as my garage chair for the workbench I wanna build. Um, obviously this is Roslyn. I'm really looking forward to leaving the top down and keeping her clean so I can just take her out on drives more often. Speaking of which, I haven't actually driven her since we moved in. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that today, but no, I have driven it. I have driven it. I've gone to pick somebody up. Um, but yeah, I, I will hopefully be getting to drive her more often now. Um, a lot of stuff that came with the house, like a lot of old paint and tiles and everything. It was really awesome of the previous owners to leave that for us. Uh, and then this is all the stuff we got from painting. This, I don't know if you can see a little bit of green in here. This whole garage used to be, I don't say lime green, but it was bright green. It was uncomfortably green. And so I had some awesome friends come over uh, the day after we took delivery of the keys to the house and we painted this room and my office and my wife's office, uh, this light off white color just to clean everything up. And I like how it looks a lot better now. Um, I'm kind of excited for a sink. Obviously the counter is a bit dirty. It had not all of this paint uh, was from us. A lot of this was from the previous owners, but I will hopefully clean that up at some point. As you can see, I've got tons and tons of potential projects just sitting here waiting to be worked on. Um, other things from my grandfather, an air sander. He had some old air tools uh, that I don't know if some of these have been used in a while. Uh, staple gun, paint sprayer. The things I'm most excited about are these two. Um, my grandfather and my dad built my grandparents' house when I was very, very young. I mean, they started when I was pretty much a baby. And a lot of my earliest memories are them working on the house together and then working on the addition to my family's house together. And this hammer and this tool belt is what I remember my grandfather using all the time. And uh, I wanna learn how to recondition the leather, uh, clean it up, and I would like to use this. Um, it's not in amazing shape, it's very worn, but I am completely okay with that. And of course this hammer is gonna be good for a really long time. Uh, but there's an air hammer, a uh, air drill, a few other things. So once I finally, I'm gonna have to add, I think a 30, 30 amp breaker, I'm not sure. I've gotta add a different plug to the garage so I can use this. Um, I don't know if it's a 220 or something else. I probably should know that. I don't look very smart right now, but I'm gonna to need to add a plug so I can actually use it, but I am excited to use it. And then my plan is to always keep the Spider in here and then maybe keep the RAV4 in this bay when I'm not working on a car, not really sure. Um, that's basically it. Plenty more projects to come. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys like a quick intro to everything and show you the house. I'm really, really excited. I know I don't always sound that excited, but I'm very, very excited. This is something I have wanted for a really, really long time. So thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next project.